Hey guys, welcome to the channel. We have a bone stock 2022 Honda CRF300L and the owner of this bike wants us to install a bunch of parts that will improve its street handling, utility, and engine performance. Stay tuned because I will be giving you hints and tips if you are planning to do this yourself. Okay, first thing to do is to remove the wheels. We will be converting this bike into a supermoto because that's what my client wants. We will be using the stock front and rear hubs for this build since he will be riding mostly on the streets anyway. To remove the wheels, you will need a 24mm socket to remove the rear axle or an adjustable wrench will do just fine. For the front, you will be needing a 10mm socket to loosen up the pinch bolts holding onto the axle. For the front axle itself, you will be needing a 14mm Allen key or in my case, since I do not have one yet, a 14mm hex head bolt that I bet will do the job perfectly. We'll be lacing these cool looking gold rims to the stock hubs. These rims are made by Perfect Power. They're better in quality compared to the other brand rims I used in my previous videos and of course, they cost a bit more. Specs for these rims are 3.5 by 17 with 36 spokes for the front and a 4.25 by 17 with 32 spokes specific for the Sierra 300L rear hub. By the way, 97% of you are not subscribed. So subscribe to my channel if you like motorcycle stuff where I'm from and like this video so it gets recommended. Help me reach 5,000 subscribers by the end of the year. Now while we are waiting for the wheels to get laced, we will be installing this luggage rack at the rear fender. Just use the accompanying bolts and spacers. I forgot the brand of this piece though, but it's a simple and straightforward installation that only requires an Allen key. Build quality is very sturdy and lightweight and it looks very discreet especially from the side. Later. Okay, so the rims are done and are perfectly aligned. The test fit shows that I have enough clearances between the forks and the swing arm. For tires, we'll be using IRC Exato NR88s. These are my best selling tires here at the shop since they offer excellent grip, cornering stability, and decent tread life at a very low price. By the way, for the lower fork guards, you will need to trim it a bit to make the clearances and transfer the brake hose to the outside. As for the back, you might need to trim the stock chain guard to avoid it from rubbing the tire. Now for the exhaust. Removing the whole thing is a very straightforward job. You will need a 12mm socket wrench to remove the flange bolts holding the head pipe and muffler. You also need a 17mm open wrench to remove the oxygen sensor in the middle of the head pipe. And lastly, an Allen key to remove the bolt holding the muffler to the middle part of the frame. We'll be installing this T4 Pro Pipe system to give this 300L a bit more power. It's a full stainless steel set with an aluminum muffler with a carbon fiber tip. This pipe is made in Thailand and the build quality is top notch. By the way, if you plan on installing a full exhaust system on your bike, I highly recommend that you pair it with a high flow air filter and have your ECU remap to get the most out of your bike. If by any chance you live here in the Isle of Cebu and looking for these parts, me and my partner shop, namely Revolt Cycles, can get these for you and we do the installation here as well. As for the ECU remap, we can point you to the right people within the area. Also, I would like to make a big shout out to the owner of this bike, Alex. He found my YouTube videos and decided to get his bike worked on by me. Check out his channel as well since he might be talking about his experiences as a foreigner in the Philippines soon. Alrighty, that's all I have for you today. Like and subscribe if you found this helpful and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye Alex. Thank you.